Chapter One More Powerful Than Law There was a massive explosion, and it was so strong that it made tall buildings collapse. People were scared, and there were screams everywhere. Kids, older folks, and young adults were trapped under the fallen buildings, crying for help. It felt like the end of the world. After some time, when everyone realized what had happened, they rushed to the place of the explosion. They worked together to rescue those trapped under the rubble. Sometimes they found hands and feet sticking out, and other times only heads. It was a very sad scene, and people were crying as they pulled others out. The police and the army arrived to help, along with other groups of people who wanted to assist. They quickly started helping the injured, putting them in ambulances and sending them to the hospital. But soon, the nearest hospital ran out of space, so they had to send the injured to other hospitals in the city. It seemed like all the hospitals in the city would be full that day. Some bodies were even found on the roofs of tall buildings. The explosion was so powerful that it had thrown them up there. At first, they couldn't be seen, but later, some vultures circling in the sky gave away their location. People went to check, and they found human bodies on the rooftops. They immediately informed the police, and the authorities collected the bodies from the roofs. On the radio and TV, there were lots of scary news reports with loud sounds and scary words. Leaders and important people were on the screen, and they were sad too. They told everyone to stay calm and be thankful, and they promised that those causing trouble would be caught soon. After all those scary news reports, there was something different on TV. They talked about a cricket match between India and Pakistan. Zishan asked his father about the people causing explosions. Dad, who are these people causing trouble? Zishan wondered. His father replied, "These are bad people who want to harm our country, son." Zishan looked serious. Dad, are they really powerful? More powerful than you? His father smiled mysteriously, making Zishan curious. Dad, why don't they have a special police unit to catch these bad people? Why do you have to do it? Son, his father explained, "It's my duty as a police officer to protect the people. We're trying our best to catch them." Zishan wasn't convinced. Dad, it sounds like what they say on TV every day. Shouldn't there be a better plan? His father sighed. Zishan, we're doing our best. Zishan grinned. Dad, I'm growing up now. I want to be a brave police officer and catch these bad people, and I'll do it better than anyone else. His father nodded proudly. Zishan, I hope you become a great police officer one day. These troublemakers won't be around forever.